So how's it going everybody? My name is Armando and welcome back to a brand new video guys. So as you can tell guys, I kind of changed the overlay of how my corner looks like. Back then somebody made fun of me because I had like a picture of my confirmation of communion in the background and I had like a mirror. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to move my space around and here's an image of how it looks. Looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah guys, we're not here to talk about my, you know, my, my background, okay? Uh, we're going to talk about the updates at hand. So... I've always said this, and I've been saying it, have faith on Clayton and Admin Pwn. As we can tell, Death Frontier 2 has been getting crazy updates like chainsaws, over 80 weapons. It's just been insane. It's like this is their year for them to wake up and just go ham on the updates. So naturally, we were thinking about, yo, what about 3D? When is it going to get love? And Clayton has always been telling us, hey guys, give us a bit of time. We're going to bring you guys something crazy. And you know, 3D has been... There's so many things you can do with this game. I always said this. There's so many infinite opportunities you have when making a survival game because there's, there's just so much to put. And here is the first part. You know, we have something called the new Deadly Bandits. By the way, I'm, I'm looking at this from my uh, Discord thing. It's from Armando's Lounge. That's what it's called. Again, Discord description in the link below or the comment section below. If you guys want to join, go ahead. It's all good. So yeah, first picture I'm looking at is the new Deadly Bandits. So I'm guessing instead of mobs now, we're actually going to have some actual bandits now like some people attacking us like obviously npcs but seeing that they have i guess that's a paint shot they have there is going to be a little difficult in the south bunker or the southeast end zone they might drop something they might not seeing that they're actual like humans with you know items on them so they might drop something pretty sexy you know like a guaranteed scrap or you know something like that that's that's my what i'm looking at but i'm guessing since so many people just go out there you know once you learn the patterns of the infected this game doesn't get any more harder than that trust me once you go out there and you get the you know how to move around how to dodge you know the effect they become kind of a laughing stock at that point so if you include bandits out there in the open that have guns that can shoot at you from a distance there really is no pattern there it's more like okay when are they gonna shoot how are they gonna shoot from what distance so yeah it's a great inclusion to bring into 3d i can see this happening i can't imagine everybody being friendly you know nobody's just gonna be out there just minding their own business everybody's gonna try to take advantage of the other person especially if they look weak i mean i don't think they might want to mess with you mess with you if you have a wraith cannon but then again how can they differentiate the difference next up is the new places to discover so this looks very interesting it looks like a soldier outpost that went horribly horribly wrong it looks more like it's in the wasteland which i hope it isn't because honestly i, I just don't like going to the wasteland it's it's too far i have to walk like for 30 minutes 40 minutes and it just doesn't seem kind of like a good idea to put it in the wasteland i really hope that that isn't the case but so far i can tell you know, by the empty floor and everything, it looks like it's going to be in the wasteland. Again, I really hope it's not because this looks pretty cool. You know, if he's adding this into the game, I can only imagine the things that could he could also be planning. I see some new infected. I mean, I can obviously see a titan. So, honestly, I can see this being in the wasteland. Again, I hate repeating myself, but I really hope it isn't. And, yeah, it just looks overall amazing, dude. It just looks like a whole thing just happened here. Last but not least, the one, the more interesting one I'm looking at are the bosses all right so the first one is obviously a different variation of the reaper it's more advanced it's more powerful and seeing that the reaper has a very long range i think longer than the leaper this looks honestly terrifying you know it just looks like ah oh, snap like if that thing hits me once i don't think my my dusk reactive can hold up to the freaking reaper it just doesn't look that good next up is that leaper boss this one looks very interesting so we all know leapers can one shot you so i'm thinking is this thing going to one shot you and it looks like it's walking on his legs as well so i could just imagine the animation being creepy as heck just a spider walking up to you in some way or form except this thing is using its actual front legs or front legs its actual front hands and maybe back legs to kind of navigate throughout the map trying to hunt you down and try to take you out in one hit and last but not least again but why don't you see this it's a zombie with a shield and as you can tell clayton has showed or admin pwn has shown that it has a zero when you hit the shield so are different weapons going to make a difference when fighting this guy or what because if i'm hitting nothing but zeros it's the only way to kill them obviously it's to get behind him and kill him but you know if you have like five of these on the screen going after you it can get pretty annoying i can only see uh a uh, grenade launcher working at this point because you know grenade launcher just it's it's a, it's a splash but if it's like let's say the wraith cannon has no effect that could be an issue to be honest but again i see that they're only in this looks like a wasteland only or only area which again i really hope it isn't because again i'm not going to go all the way to wasteland i might do it for a video but not going there every single time if this was in the inner city i.e the southeast end zone the white zone you know that would be amazing you know it gives players new challenges because everybody's pretty much chilling at the side at the second on bunker nobody really moves from there unless they have to loot all the way in the southeast end zone or loot in the northeast end zone that's pretty much it 
But here's a little thing from uh, Clayton. I'm aware that it's been some time since the last Death Frontier 1 update. I'm working on getting it out ASAP. In the meantime, here's some snips of what's to come. All the details on everything. But yeah, that's pretty much the same thing he was talking about. But yeah, Clayton is the man. Honestly, I always had faith in the guy. Many people always said, oh, Death Frontier is going to die. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm like, this game has been alive for more than like how many years? You know, when people, when people bring up the topic about Death Frontier is going to die, I feel like go through some other things and you still see this game is still kicking. You got to kind of see that Admin is doing something right. Sure, the pay to win is still a huge factor, but like I said, Admin has noticed the pay to win issue and he honestly is trying to kind of make up for what he's done in the past. And we can appreciate that. Like I said, people can still be like, oh, he's still lazy, blah, 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 blah. But I'm like, bro, the man is trying. He finally has an extra pair of hands that are helping him with the development. And I can just say, I really want to see this game succeed because it's still a game and part of our lives. You know, I might do some other games like on Mix It Up Mondays, but I would, I always come back to this game because honestly, it's just a very, very chill game. That's what I love about this game. It's very chill. It's relaxing. You can loot for a few hours and seeing all these updates coming out and with Clayton on board, Dude, I only have so much faith in this game, and I can't wait to see what's to come. But yeah, guys, like I said, quick video. I'm still working on the Hardcore series. I know you guys love that series. 2K views on the last episode. Dude, you guys, yo, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. But yeah, I, like I promise, I'm only going to be bringing out quality videos. These are just update videos. Nothing crazy, nothing, you know, nothing amazing. Just quick update videos on you guys, because I know some people are out of the loop. But yeah can't wait Clayton he's gonna bring it out as soon as he can which I honestly can't wait and like I said hopefully this isn't in the wasteland but in the actual inner city because if it's wasteland ooh, I'm gonna hate that but look at the bandits I don't think so but yeah like I said let's just hope that it's not gonna be in wasteland I don't think so because it says new areas to discover so yeah maybe I maybe be I may just be you know talking and just out of the back of my head like I said it's all just speculation nothing is for fact but one thing for sure these updates look amazing. But yeah, guys, I'm on out. I'll see you guys very soon. And yeah, hardcore coming out in a few. Take care. Bye.